So, <coughs> our job is then to become familiar with them. So why is that so difficult? It sounds pretty easy. Because we have the next category of states of mind, and they're called the valid states of mind. They're called the useful states of mind. They're called the, the, um, the virtuous states of mind, the positive, the beneficial, the useful, the productive states of mind. They are not disturbing. They are not totally invalid. This is very surprising to us. They are not delusional. They are not misconceptions. They are valid. So a, in general, a valid state of mind for the Buddha, a valid state of mind is a state of mind that's got a valid, that's got that's in sync with the object that it's describing. So if, simply speaking, if I say that is a mug, we know the English language that's a valid statement. We've all agreed in our cultures, this is little girls and boys, that a mug is this thing with a handle, or sometimes not have a handle, that holds your tea, that holds your water. We agree upon that. So that's a valid statement. There's a mug. Tick the box. You just, you know, you just pass the exam. <laughs> now, if you say, you know, there's an iPad, same thing. Okay, you say it's a Samsung, you're wrong. <laughs> you understand? So anyway, the thing is, that's a valid, simply speaking, a valid statement. We would say one plus one is two. That's a valid statement. We've agreed upon it, so it's valid. It's true. That's a microphone. Very simple. So, Ed is a human being. That's a statement of fact. We can agree he's not a dog, he's not a mouse, he's a human being. That's true. Ed is divine. That's getting a bit tricky now. That's an embellishment. You understand, and it's coming from, especially if I'm attached to Ed, attachment over, you see, attachment is an invalid state of mind because, because Ed makes, because Ed is nice to me, it makes me happy. It does what my attachment wants. And that's the junkie. The junkie attachment, all it wants is what it wants. So when someone does what my attachment wants, he's got a, a my attachment glasses are on, like coloured spectrum, my pink, my, what do you call Rose coloured. Rose coloured specs are on, and he will appear so divine to me. We get this. So then I'll, I'll put that, and that's a view, Buddha says, coming from my mind. It's an over-exaggerated view, and I plonk it on Ed. And then I think it is divine, you know, and he'll, and he'll appear that way to me. That's an elaboration. It doesn't mean he doesn't do good things. It's not, not, it's not an argument with that. But the, the overall oppression that attachment causes me to have, it causes me to paint a picture of delicious Ed. If I, if I am attached to chocolate cake and my stomach is empty, the cake will look delicious. So I believe it is that. Well, that's an embellishment. That's an embellishment. And it's proof, because after you've had four pieces, how would it look? We know this is true. It doesn't take six months. It takes six months to start to see Ed is ugly. It takes one minute to see the cake is ugly after four pieces, that's all. You will be disgusted. The cake will look repulsive and you will push it away. This is proof, absolute proof, that attachment is an embellishment. And then aversion takes over and then now that embellishes the ugliness of the cake. This is the fundamental function of the deluded states of mind, the neurotic states of mind. We know this, we do it all the time. And they have a particular emotional component, don't they? When, you, when attachment is there and, the, and your stomach's empty and the cake's on the plate and all the conditions come together, you get very excited. Or excited, or anticipating. It's sort of happy and excited, isn't it? You eat the cake, it's so delicious. Then the second piece, waiting for more deliciousness to come, and it doesn't. Soon you feel disgusting and full, and you want to burp, then you get constipation, then you get stuck. Then you understand my point? You understand my point? We all know this, but we can't be able to think about it. All of this is coming from this story that attachment has made up. And this is the motive that drives us at the depth of our being, as the Eon Buddha says. So they're liars. They're liars. That's not it. 